To use Desmos to graph a system of equations, go into our classroom site, click on About, and you'll notice the first important link is Desmos. Go ahead and click on that and it will open Desmos for us right to our graphing calculator. So let's do a couple examples using this. I'm going to start with ones that are in y equals form. So y is equal to, and I want to type the fraction 2 thirds. So I'm going to type 2 divided by 3. I'm going to step to the right so that I'm no longer in the fraction. That's an x minus 1. And you'll notice the line keeps moving around until you're done typing. And I'm going to type in my second one. I'm going to hit enter to open up a new box. And I'm going to type y is equal to negative x plus 4. And notice that negative and minus are both the same thing. There's no differentiation in Desmos. And you can see that the lines intersect at one point. So there is one solution, and it's right there at 3, 1. So the solution to this system falls at the point 3, 1 but I still need to get it on my paper. And there's a couple ways to do this. You notice it gives you some nice points here. So there's three on this line that I can get on my paper. And there aren't any really great ones that pop out when we're looking at the red line. Oh, there are. But this is one and a half. I don't want to graph that one. This one looks okay. So I need to open up my table. So I'm going to go to this little wheel and I'm going to click on it. And you'll notice that I can open up a table and it gives me the point zero, one and I don't want to use these points, this does not scroll like your calculator, so I have to ask it, just like when we trace our graph. So let's see what's going on at 3. And there's a point at 3, 1. And how about negative 3? Oh, negative 3, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and there's another point right there. When you are done using the table, if you hit this undo arrow, it will take you back all the way to your equation. And you can do the same thing here if you wanted. Open the table, lots of points to plot, undo to get back to your system. Make sure you have arrows on both sides of your um, lines, and make sure that you're labeling them so we know which line is which. All right, so what happens, I'm going to X out of these, if you have um, a system that does not have uh, the form Y equals? Well, let's try it. So we have 5X plus 2y equals 4. And there's that line. And enter 9x plus 2y equals 12. Hey, there are my lines. And again, you can see they cross one time. There's my intersection. So that's the solution to these systems. Now, when I click on this, you'll notice there's no table here. And the reason for that is these are relations. They are not in the form y equals, so your calculator will also not. This is where you have to graph trace. So I'm going to click on this red one, and it very nicely gave us some points. This point 8 I don't want to use, but if I come down here, I can move this around. Oh, there's a good point, 2, negative 3. But you can move the slider up and down looking for nice points. Okay, that's not a good one either, but I can certainly move it around. Okay, on the blue, I could do the same thing. It looks like there's a pretty good point here somewhere. Oh, 1, negative 4. So you can find your points by also tracing this. So this is very similar to our... Oops, I lost my 12. That's why that looks funny. This is very similar to our calculator. Okay, so again, I can pick a point here. I can slide it around until I find something that looks great. There's a point at 4, negative 8. And... And there's a point at negative 2, 7. So you just have to look for them, same as you do on our calculator. So that is an easy way to use Desmos when you don't have access to your Inspire.